I thought we'd take a quick look at my um, LBOX Mirage Pro A4000. Uh, just let you know what's inside. It's a Cyberstorm Mark III. Um, it's hooked up to an IDE hard drive via a SCSI with a SCSI to IDE converter. There's a Mediator 4000 bus board, uh, which has both Zorro and PCI slots. Uh, the RAM is 256 meg in total. It's got SOAR RAM 128 meg and 128 meg on the um, Cyberstorm. Uh, Deneb USB, which is awesome. If you haven't got one, try and get one because they are the best USB solution for the A4000. Uh, we got um, PCI cards, so sound, uh, video, it's a Voodoo 3 um, for the video, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I'm going to show you the workbench that I've set up uh, based on classic workbench 3.9 which is the awesome work of Plutwitch on EIB uh, I've used Peter Kay's new icon library uh, and can now load 32-bit uh, icons so I'm going to have a quick click around and show you uh, the icons I've put on here the um, Amiga boots quite quickly because all of the OS 3.9 patches are in the Deneb's ROM so you just um, there's no restart it boots straight in to workbench as you can see my compact flash card is mounted there um, which I had plugged in the front of the in the media bay that's through the USB uh, let's have a quick click around some of the other screens and bits and pieces As you can see, Peter's awesome icon library loads up these icons really quickly. Uh, there's no you know, messing around really, it's nice and rapid. Uh, perhaps I'll show you a couple of games as well running. Uh, I've got the sound hooked up through the sound card to the speakers. So games that support um, the AHI can play through the sound card. Let me see if I've got something I can go for here. Good old fashioned quake. The Cyberstorm's got a 060, which is six, uh, 50 megahertz, so not overclocked at all. also try the Warp 3D version of Quake. I uh, haven't tried that yet on this setup but uh, let's see um, how we get on with that. Just got to fix the screen size. This is using the Warp 3D. Uh, I remember before it was quite glitchy, but we'll give it a go. I think on the A4000 I had problems of it slowing down, but we'll give it a quick, quick blast and see how we get on. As you can see, it's a lot less blocky than uh, the normal AGA version. But as you can see, it's a little bit jumpy when you go through the doors and such. I found that when you play through it for a second time it wasn't jumpy again which is very strange so some kind of caching issue which I need to um, have a look at. It 
So if I go back now and reload it, it'd be nice and smooth, which is rather weird. Yeah, pretty strange, isn't it? Something we need to um, look at. Anyway, that's just a quick look at this machine. Perhaps I'll show you some other ones another time. Thanks for watching.